Welcome to the news today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for February 25th, 2022. And yes, I'm aware, I'm aware that I'm wearing a Peppa Pig shirt. That's because we attended the grand opening of the Peppa Pig theme park at Legoland. And I haven't changed since. So there you go. I'm also wearing a magic band. I'm sure you guys have complained about that too. But anyway, if you want to see our trip to Peppa Pig theme park, it's over on the WDW News Today YouTube channel. Go check it out. Since our last update, construction at Universal Orlando's newest theme park, Epic Universe, is moving along. Thanks to aerial photos from at BioReconstruct on Twitter, we can take a look at the current progress. Here's an aerial overview of the Epic Universe construction site, and here's an aerial look at one of the staging areas for Epic Universe. It's believed that these blue tarps are covering track for the upcoming attraction Yoshi's Adventure. And here's a look at another staging area for electrical for Epic Universe. Then there's an aerial overview of Super Nintendo World. You can see more concrete work in progress. And a large red crane is raising a wall. You can see more concrete is placed in, uh, in square and hexagon shapes. And we spotted what is most likely the foundation for a show building in Super Nintendo World as well. Here's a different angle of those concrete shapes. And a yellow crane is actively at work as well. And a yellow excavator is actively working on a dirt pile to the left. Here's another look at a portion of Epic Universe. A new hotel is to be built in the center, of course, and the circle in the dirt in front of the hotel will be a fountain. And here's a look at what is believed to be the construction of the Universal Monsters Land. Here's another aerial view of Epic Universe looking from the southern direction. And here's a look at the roads currently under construction at the park. Guest parking will be at the center, the photo you're looking at now. Epic Universe, Universal Orlando Resort is expected to open by the summer of 2025. Earlier this month, we reported that two-thirds of the E.T. Adventure pre-show room was blocked off with tarps while the ceiling was being refurbished. The refurbishment is now complete and all three doors to the pre-show are again being used. Guests are split into three different groups to enter the pre-show and the ceiling before the pre-show is a mural of E.T. and Elliot's fingers touching surrounded by stars. Guests remain separated by railings in the actual pre-show room where they watch a video hosted by Steven Spielberg. Trouble. And there are white ceiling tiles in this room and the next, which team members have told us uh, were broken and coming loose. And that's what they focused uh, on fixing this time around. New scented candles inspired by Mardi Gras are now available at Universal Orlando. We found these five candles in the Universal Studios store at Universal Studios Florida for $20 each. The candles are themed to the King Gator, the Fleur de Lis, King Cake, a Hurricane Cocktail, and Planet Mardi Gras. You can check them out on our website. Mardi Gras, of course, wouldn't be complete without King Cake, and you can find a giant King Cake at the New Orleans Mardi Gras booth, but there's also a King Cake Whoopie Pie inside the Tribute Store. The King Cake Whoopie Pie is made up of two dense, fresh vanilla cakes with a very rich frosting center. The tree costs five bucks. Pizza fries, but make them Mardi Gras. The fan favorite snack we crave during Halloween Horror Nights has gotten a twist for the event and has landed at Kid's Own Pizza Company. The Central America Comet Cruisin' booth had originally debuted some disappointing Salcha Papas, but they've gotten a makeover and have been reintroduced as Salcha Papas Pizza Fries. A thin layer of chipotle ketchup serves as a base topped with crispy crinkle cut fries, melted mozzarella, Dijonais, tomato and onion curtido, as well as chorizo top it all off for quite the interesting presentation of pizza fries. The dish costs $10.49. This year's Mardi Gras theme is Planet Mardi Gras, so you'll notice a lot of space-themed merchandise, costumes, and floats. But inside the Tribute Store, there's plenty of treats, including shaker cakes and trifle cakes. The Purple Planet, Purple Planet Trifle Cake and the Blue Planet Trifle Cake are different flavors, so we decided to give them both a try. The Purple Planet Cake is Bourbon Chocolate Pecan Layer Cake, and, and the Blue Planet is Snickerdoodle Layer Cake. The cakes cost $10 each. Why is there not a Green Planet? You know, where E.T.'s from? Crossover event we all know we need. If all the delicious food at Mardi Gras wasn't enough, there's now some new candy. We found these treats at the Tribute Store. Uh, there's an assortment of chocolate bars. It comes in a set of three for 10 bucks. There's a milk chocolate, a milk chocolate bar of caramel, and milk chocolate with rice crisps. We also found this Planet Mardi Gras uh, truffles and English toffee assortment for 12 bucks. King Gator also has his own treats with these gummy gators for $5. And if you have enough plastic beads, go ahead and pick up these edible beads for $5. A trip to Universal isn't complete without a visit to the Wizarding World. And while making our way through Hogsmeade, we spotted a new vegan shepherd's pasty pie at the Magic Neep. 
The ham pie is being described as uh, filled with meatless beef crumbles and vegetable stew for $9.49. Reviews of all these things I just talked about are available at UniversalParksNewsToday.com. The two dinosaurs fighting over a slice of pizza are currently missing from the Pizza Predatoria sign at Islands of Adventure. This is my favorite sign in all of Universal. I'm very upset that it's missing again. The dinos are supposed to move back and forth as they tug on a slice of pizza, but they broke recently and now they vanished. Hopefully they will return soon. We will, of course, be watching very closely because we love them. You can now be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with his new photo op at City Walk at Universal Orlando advertising the new series. Bel-Air is a modern dramatic version of the 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air starring Will Smith. The photo op has a black backdrop with a golden crown outline. There's a golden throne with black cushions and the throne has lion heads on the arms and intricate detailing all over. Guests can sit in it for a photo. In the back of the photo op has the Bel Air logo with the crown outline replacing the hyphen and advertises that it's now streaming on Peacock. You tell your friends a story all about how you took a photo in it. We found these Universal Resort hotel candles inspired by Cabana Bay Beach Resort and Lowe's Sapphire Falls. If you've ever wanted your home to smell like one of the Universal hotels, you're in luck. The Retro Beach Resort Universal Hotel Candle plays off the logo of Cabana Bay using classic mid-century modern fonts and aesthetics. The scent profile features green clover and aloe with a watery green floral permeating the air. A bouquet of fresh jasmine, lily of the valley, and lang finishes with a uh, light dust of cedar trimmings. Meanwhile, the Sunset Falls Candle by Magic Candle Company mimics the aroma of Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort, my personal favorite resort at Universal. The candle smells like a fresh ocean breeze with apple, melon, orange, and bergamot. Uh, the candle costs $20, candles cost $20 each. It's been a month since we took a good look at the construction of Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. And while it's hard to see uh, little changes at the construction site, we can see major updates. Super Nintendo World, of course, is visible from the escalators between the upper lot and the lower lot. And during our last update, we noted that most of the structures of the land have been covered with weather-resistant purple sheathing and then a layer of blue paneling. They're now covered in black paneling. What an update. Some blue paneling still peeks out in sections. And there's now a flat pyramid shape atop the tower, which is the tallest point of the land. We saw crew members working on some scaffolding as well, and some brown tarps hang over a few areas blocking the view, but also protecting workers from the sun. One crew member was atop a new structure in the right corner of the land amongst the green hills. Guests will enter Super Nintendo World through a tunnel near Transformers The Ride 3D. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. For UPNT, this is Tom Corliss saying the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Welcome to Unplanned Downtime, a new home for creative, innovative, and outlandish programming made for Disney fans, including Cosmic Read Live, discussions and imagineering attractions, Deep in the Plus, reviewing the catalog on Disney Plus, Ink and Paint, celebrating female voices in the Disney fandom, Boxed In, opening mystery packages and viewer mail, Picky Eaters, trying to eat our way across Disney restaurants. WDW and TV RPG, a tabletop adventure set in Tokyo Disney Sea, and more of your favorites. Subscribe now at unplannedDowntime.com. Remember, it's not an accident, it's unplanned downtime.